warroomsports.com. Get that mobile app. So now I want to get to this uh, top 10 hip hop albums of 2015. Get ready to do this live on Snapchat. And this is my opinion, by the way. Um, we do this every year, usually on the War Room Sports podcast or on the YouTube channel, but I'm gonna do it on Snapchat this year. So I don't care about I don't care about album sales, popularity, or who you know. None of that matters to me. It's all about you know um, how I felt about the music sonically. So. Ten, I have a uh, Mickey Fax Y3 was a dope project. Um, bar for bar, not too many albums messing with this, so check it out if you haven't. But nine, I got the game um, documentary two and two point five, both were dope. Uh, the game always makes great albums. A couple of them are duds, but for the most part, great albums. They made probably his best album in a while. Um, this album probably would have made my top 10 just on murals alone. Um, a song on the album, which is crazy. This is an album not too many people are familiar with. Became Mayfield, The Return of Rap was phenomenal. Production, lyrics. Uh, salute to my man Artemis for putting me down with this, but this was a dope album. Number six, Del P, A New Beginning. Salute to Uncle Mike for putting me down with this. This this kid has a bright future. This album was amazing. Production, lyrics. Number five, the emo guy, Joe Button. Shout out to uh, Kyrie and Eric who run his fan club. They stands. But this was Joe Button's best album in my opinion. Number four, Chill Moody and West Manchild, TV Made Me Do It. Just a dope concept album, and if you love TV, you'll love this album. Three, Odyssey, The Good Fight. Um, if you like A Tribe Called Quest, you like this album. It has that sound to it sonically. It's just an amazing album. Number two, Push Your Teeth, Darkest Before Dawn. Honestly, if this would have came out like earlier, it may have been my favorite album of this year. Production, it was short the way I like albums, and it was just crazy. My favorite album this year was Scarface, Deeply Rooted. This album is crazy. Like Scarface still putting out classic albums is, is just amazing in itself, but this is probably like the lyrical content, the substance in this album, like, I listen to this album every Sunday as though I'm going to church. Like, um, I play Uncle Brad Jordan. I worship with him every Sunday. I mean, this deck. And I already know people are going to ask me about Dr. Dre and Kendrick, which were dope albums. There was so many dope albums in 2015 that I couldn't put everything on. This is my favorite. There was an album by Kid Rory that was dope. Uh, Apathy. Um, Rick Ross album was fire. It just didn't make my top 10. Also, shout out to uh, Michael Christmas and... Um, Breakfast at Banksy, because those also almost cracked my top 10, but it's just so many dope albums that everything couldn't make it. Damn, people already coming at my neck about Kendrick. Listen, I like Kendrick's album. I get it. Um, I like the substance, but honestly, I just didn't listen that much. Like, you didn't have a lot of replay. Like, Kendrick didn't have a lot of replay value to me. And some of y'all be lying anyway. Some of y'all, like, don't even listen to it no more, but you think it's the right thing to say. So, FOH. At any rate, that's my uh, top 10 of 2015. Um, first time doing it on Snapchat. I like this, by the way. Keep it nice and short. And uh, last but not least, all this is brought to you by Sports the Book, the Illmatic of Sports Book. <laughs> if you think it's an album I missed, let me know um, that I may or may not have heard. Um, also, if you want to see all of our sports and hip hop and talk, just go right to our website here to see it all. Kuwait is the war room with five nights at the round table, five Philly guys diversified and educated.